everyone, I'm Jared Falk, and today I'm going to teach you a variation using the Abaqua rhythm. Now, the Abaqua rhythm is kind of like the 6-8 Afro-Cuban Bembe rhythm, but this one is a little bit different. Now, the Abaqua rhythm originated in eastern Nigeria, and it was actually a rhythm played by the members of a secret society. And so it's a a little bit crazy that we're going to dive into this, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Now, this is something that I recently was shown from Mike Macalco. Now, one thing I want to tell you guys is what you just heard me play on the intro of this video, that was not my first take, okay? I'm still working on this. I'm still working on the variation and how all the pieces fit together, but I was so excited about it, I just absolutely had to show you uh, because Mike just showed me. And you know how I roll. I pass it right on, okay? Now, Mike actually said he was inspired by Terry Bozio on this rhythm, and I think it's due to the foot pattern, or the foot ostinato that Mike was playing. So basically what the feet are doing, if you just go down to the foot cam there, you'll see my left foot is going to be spread across the left bass drum pedal and the hi-hat. Okay? Now, if you don't have a left bass drum pedal, just use the hi-hat pedal. It's still going to sound awesome. And my right foot is just obviously on the right pedal. And now this is how it'll be played. So the pattern is using eighth note triplets, and you're playing all the one, two, three, four counts with your left foot, and you're filling in the other eighth note triplets with your right foot, okay? So you're actually kind of leading with your left, and that's why it was such a challenge for me. All right, so now I'm gonna do that with Smart Beat technology to show you guys how it sounds against a pulse. So now we're going to actually learn the Abaqua rhythm. Now, if you know what a 6-8 Afro-Cuban rhythm is, or a bembe, that sounds like this. Now, the Abaqua rhythm is slightly different, okay? We're starting with three eighth note triplets, so one and a. Uh. Then we're taking a one eighth note triplet break, playing three more eighth note triplets. So two and a uh, three. Okay, we play to the downbeat of three. Then we take one eighth note triplet break on the end of three, and then finish it off a uh, four and. So it would sound like this. Okay, so first memorize that rhythm. Once you've got the rhythm, you're able to just tap along with it and just easily play it and not even really think about it. Now we're gonna actually move that onto the toms. So if you have three toms, it's basically just three hits per tom. Do, 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 do. If you have two toms, you can just do it over the two, okay? Now let me show you guys how this sounds played with smart beat technology. Now that you have the feet going and the right hand, let's figure out what the left hand is doing. Now the left hand is basically just playing the first two notes of each group of eighth note triplets. So one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay, I'll show you guys how this sounds with the click. And to be honest, when I learned this, I learned it without any click, just the hands first, very, very slowly, like this. And finally, when you feel comfortable with that, and it took me a long time, okay, and still not even to where I want it to be, it's still not sitting exactly right but once you get it to that certain point where you're feeling comfortable enough or brave enough to add in the feet 
that's all you do. So what I'll do now is I'll start with the feet first, just really slow, then I'll add in the right hand, then I'll add in the left hand and show you how this sounds. Now let's try that with the click track using Smart B technology. And that is how to play an Abu Kwa variation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't completely butcher it, and I hope I inspired you guys to take this rhythm to the kit and make it your own. Like I said, it's just the rhythm that we're kind of looking at, and it's a variation of that. So you can literally take that rhythm, the da 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 You can take that and do whatever you want with it. You can put it on the ride, you can put it on the cowbell, you can play it with your left foot if you want while you play other stuff over top. You can go between the bembe rhythm and the abuqua. Um, you can just do whatever you want. And I can't wait to see all the cool stuff that you guys are going to do with it because I know you're all so creative and that's the beauty of this community. We're just all about sharing information. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you again very soon.